Now let's take a look at a pattern in the Moving Features Between Objects series called Hide Delegate. It's a very simple pattern where you have an object that has this property on it which is another object and in order to get to the functionality of that inner object you have to go through that property. I'll give you an example of what we mean here. Let's say we wanted to find out a manager of an employee. Doesn't really matter what the method's called. So let's say we have an employee here. Now we want to know that employee's manager. We have to go through the department to get to the manager. Now, first of all, this is a violation of what's called the law of Demeter, where objects should only talk to their immediate neighbors and not to objects inside of those neighbors. They shouldn't have to reach through an object to get to something else. But more importantly, with regards to the spirit of the law of Demeter, is that this isn't really an intuitive way to find out John's manager. If you were to ask John who his manager is, he wouldn't give you his department, and then you'd have to go ask the department who its manager is. No, a, a manager is a perfectly reasonable attribute to describe an employee. It's a perfectly reasonable property to have here, and you should be able to directly get that manager from that employee. So, let's start by creating a property that'll give us the employee's manager. Simple enough. And now we can make this property private. So the compiler will tell us that we can't access that directly. But we have a new property called manager that gives us the information we're looking for. And so what this does is it hides that department. And so we could also create another delegating property here for charge code if we need to know John's charge code or for any, any property or functionality that's on an internal object where the encapsulating object really should expose that functionality as well. And that's pretty much it for the hide delegate pattern. Thanks for watching.